YouTube, YouTube. What's up, man? It's Chance Cannon back with another video. So I'm already at it, getting started early. I'm at the customer's apartment. But before we get into the video, remember like, subscribe, drop your comments down below, and let's get into the video, man. Okay, so I'm at the customer's apartment, and uh, basically they were saying the internet was going in and out. So I'm thinking it's a uh, it's a bad splitter. So I'm just gonna go in, you know, complete running my tests. And then we're gonna switch them out with one of these brand new splitters. Now the splitter that they have in there is like one of the old old kind of splitters. It doesn't look like this. And anytime I see that kind of splitter, I know that's probably the problem. So I'm going here to switch it out and I'm gonna show you guys that splitter I'm talking about. Right, Y'all, so we back in the van. So the problem was he had a bad modem, a bad wall plate, the the jumper. The jumper is pretty much the cord that's running to the from the CPE to the wall plate. I changed that. I changed the wall plate, and then I changed this splitter right here. So you see how old it looks. Anytime you see a splitter like this at the CPE, like you know, going to the CPE inside the home, whether it be a house or apartment, I always change this out, even if it's at a tap, because these go bad real quick. I don't know what it is, but they go bad. So. We just closed the job out. I'm finna get ready to go to the gas station, give me some water, you know, get some gas. And we gonna get on to the next job, man. Stay with me. All right, you guys, I'm back in the van. So this job was pretty, I wanna say difficult. It was just time consuming because, um, hold on, let me make sure I'm in the right study. It was time consuming because we had to run a whole new line, a whole new line, and we had to do an underground bury but you don't have to put the berry in. You just have to, you know, put it in for it on the work order. So that job was in the books. As you can see, it took us a while and I had to do a lot of different things. So I got a clip. I'm gonna let y'all watch it. And we're gonna get right back into the video, man. Stay with me. It's called uh, m and Network. I'm gonna walk, walk back in, inside the house. So as you see in that clip, it was a lot of things I had to do. I had to pick up that big old ladder and I had to get it set up so I can get to the tap. But luckily the tap wasn't too high, you know, off the ground. So when I got on the ladder, it wasn't too, too high. So now I'm finna go to lunch. So when I get back from lunch, we got another job. And, and the good thing about this job is I think it, I'm thinking that the tap is on the ground. It's not in the air. So I'm going to have to pick my ladder. So we're going to see when we get to when we get out of lunch. So when I get back, I'll be right back with you. All right, you guys. So it's kind of dark out here, but I pretty much had to run this guy a new line. So I'm going to show y'all where I had to run the line from. It's pretty far, too. Just look at it. So there's a fence right there. Now up over, over there. I don't know if y'all can see my hand, but up over there that's why i had to run it man so we still working so far so good moving on to the next job just look at all the cable that i had to you know cut off as my trainer always says you can always take cable off but you can't put any more on so when you're putting the line in always put more than you need because you can always cut it off you feel me on to the next two we back at it so my next job that I'm on right now is what they call proactive maintenance. Basically, all proactive maintenance means is you're going to test at the tap and at the ground block. Now, if the, if the customer's home, then that means you will go to the ground block and the CPE. So that's all I'm doing right now, just running my test. Everything looks good. So once this test finishes, we move on to the next job. So that's pretty much it, man. Ain't much going on right now. Just running these tests. Show y'all what it looks like. So once this finishes up, we keep it on moving, man. Right on down the road. Right, YouTube back at it, man. It's about 9.30. So the guy, we're at a self-install, right? And the box that he has, it's not compatible with his TV. So basically, I'm up here waiting for another tech to bring me a box that's compatible. So that's what I'm doing right now. Really ain't much going on. So whenever I finish this job, I can go home. It's kind of been a long day. This is the box that he has right here. It's a, just a normal HD box, but he has a new Samsung TV. So all on the new Samsung TVs, for some reason, 
it's not compatible. So that's what we're waiting on, man. Another day in the books. And, you know, we're just going to keep moving ahead. So I'm waiting for that. Probably going to get me some water, man, and just chill off a little bit. But, yeah. And I'm back, YouTube. So that last job, it went pretty smooth. Once I got the new box from my, one of my other coworkers, once I got the new box from him, it came right on up. And I finished my AC. AC means health check. It's basically like the final test you have to run before you leave, you know, the customer's residence. It passed all that. So we was easy, easy money, man. You feel me? So my day went pretty much, you know, it's pretty much okay. Well, that's the end of the video. As always, I want to thank you guys for watching, man. Subbing to the channel and liking the video. I always got to say that in every video because I really appreciate it. And I'm going to catch y'all in the next one, man. Peace.